Homebrew Wednesday to all my fellow brew tubers out there. Hey everybody, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Good to see you again. Today, uh, don't have a whole lot, but I'll probably still have a long video because that just seems to be the way it goes. So hang in there. Thanks for watching. Um, posting my double IPA video today, um, just showing some video of my brew day and just some final notes and uh, and um, just want to say thanks to the guys that uh, um, gave me some good feedback. Um, hope you hope you enjoy the beers. Anyways, um, Puka NC got some beer mail from you. Thanks a lot, uh, guys. Check it out. It was a pretty 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 gracious haul. Thank you. So I got some beer mail from Puka NC. Brad from Wild Boys Brewery sent me a chocolate stout. A Dunkelweizen Puka is Pale Ale, made with Citra and Cascade hops. The Rum Oak Espresso Chocolate Porter. Bavarian style wheat. Bavarian style Hefeweizen. And then from the Brooklyn Brewing Company. Black Chocolate Stout. When I was looking at these, every single one of them's got a decent ABV. But, anyways, thank you, Puka and C. Thanks, Brad. Um, definitely in. All right. Jokes. So I figured while we're doing a little bit of talking, I'll uh, do a, a little taste test on. Uh, Puka and C's Bavarian style Hefeweizen. Uh, it's uh, you know, with Hallertau hops, uh, the 3068 Weinstefen yeast, and bottled on 613 and 5.5 ABV. Sweet. Um, you know I love my Hefe's, so this is the first beer I'm going to be trying. Nice uh, straw color. Nice, big, fluffy head. Has kind of a, a yeasty, yeasty, fruity smell to it. Holy cow, guys. You gotta check this out. Look at that. Look at that upside down snowstorm. That's nice. Alright, well, since I'm over here, ugh, I'm just going to do the taste test right here. Mm. Get a fruity. I get, um, well, I get more of a spicy than, uh, you get, look at this, freaking lights, um, more of a, a spice, you know, because some, you know, it's that clovey banana flavor, well, I get more clove, or more of the spicy clovey, there's some banana in it. But uh, clove is the more prominent. <sighs> Look at it. It's freaking still going. See that? Man. Some good carbonation. You got the uh, head still going strong. Yeah, it's uh It's good. 
You know I love my Hefe beers, so anytime I get to try a good Hefe, it brings a smile to my face. Mm. Puka. Ah, thanks for the Hefe. You know, you know, you know where it were. You know where it is. It's uh The only thing that I notice on it is uh the color on it is uh very light compared to what I've been getting. Mine mine seem to be a lot more uh more of a darker. Or this uh it's hard to see in the I guess the camera a little bit. But uh good good beer Puka, thank you. I'll uh, I'll be posting the rest of them uh, as I keep drinking. Thank you, Puka, for sharing these beers with me. I'll uh, uh, I'll be putting more videos up as I taste them. But as long as you remember, I'm I'm a taster. I'm not as good of a beer reviewer as, as you and some of the other guys. Um, no, it's good flavors. But anyways, let's see what else. Oh, so last week. Um, I just showed a snippet of my brew day and got a couple comments back on the strainer basket thing that I was using. Um, I got it off the of eBay and I'll put the, I'll put the link below, but, um, here's a little bit closer look when it's not in a boil kettle. All right, check it out. All right, guys. I know I had a couple comments on last week's video about my little hop strainer. And uh, you can see I have a 10-gallon pot. It uh, doesn't reach nearly as far down as I'd like it to. Um, it worked pretty good. Uh, this is a 300 micron. I believe they also offered a 600 micron screen. Um, it's all stainless steel. And um, it works pretty good. I think I'm going to see if there's some way I can uh, maybe hang a clip on the side so I can get it a little bit lower in my wart. Um, it's not going to be able to hold a, a, a ton of hops. It did keep <clears throat> it did keep most of the the large chunk of the hops in the strainer, and then all I did was dump it upside down, empty it out, and I just took a sprayer and sprayed it out, um, wiped it down, and looks pretty good. I mean, I don't see any stuff stuck in it, but um, <clears throat> so yeah, eBay. Um, I'll put the, uh, the eBay link. Um, down below. So last last week uh, Saturday was a um, the my local homebrew club. We had a uh, our the nineteenth annual Oktoberfest. Uh, it was a good time. I spent uh, most of the day on the grill, but uh, got in to enjoy. Man, uh, I think there's like a dozen dozen different breweries or do dozen different beers that were donated, and um, but we had some Bell's Oktoberfest, which was always great. Um, the local Three Sheeps Brewery brought this um, chocolate stout with ginger. Oh, that was um, the makings of a very good, uh, good Christmas beer or holiday ale. Um, what else? There's a Potosi Cave Ale that was great. There was uh, um, let's see, I think it's called Eric the Red. I enjoyed that. Uh, Gotch Ale. But anyways, I'll 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 be posting the video eventually on that. But um, but oh man, that was just some good beer. The the brats are a special blend, um, only made for the homebrew club. Um, they're uh, uh, amazing, very uh, nice garlic, garlicky, garlicky flavor. Um, anyways, now I'm making guys thirsty and hungry, so I'll stop talking. But um, anyways, they also gave away a ton, like all the homebrewers, they all all the brew club members, they all brought in a uh, you know two six packs and stuff, and those. All got auctioned off. Um, it, it's just a good day. It's a great fundraiser for the uh, the, the brew club, and uh, um, yeah, it was just it was my first my first time, and uh, completely enjoyed it. And then even um, the local homebrew store that I, I usually shop at, um, Brewmasters, and uh, they uh, they donated uh, a brew kettle and uh, um, a nice stainless steel spoon, which. Uh, which was raffled off, and, and it was kind of cool because um, a guy that was that doesn't brew but was thinking about brewing once. 
So hopefully uh, he'll, he'll be brewing in that thing soon. So anyways, uh, just working on my, my brewing table. Um, parts are still coming in for my electric brewery. Um, I'll, I'll show you a quick pan over all the, the parts and stuff. Um, I haven't done a whole lot with it. Um, I have most everything I need now. Um, it's just a matter of um, getting my ass in gear and um, taking a day to devote to putting that thing together. I got, this will be in the boil, HLT. I got all my box stuff, need to build it. Um, hardware, it's leaving all my electrical. Panels all hooked up. All my electrical cords. The panel. Got my plugs all knocked in. One of my PIDs there. So it's a work in progress. Almost got. Uh, all the prep work done pretty soon should be should be wearing. So here's a quick look at my uh, my brewing bench for down in the basement. Built the uh, the stands for it. But anyways, I'm not gonna. I don't want to drag this one on too long. Um, Everybody just happy homebrew Wednesday. Hockey player, um, the social guy. Um, I sorry that uh, didn't make it out last week Saturday uh, to hockey players cast. Uh, it was an uh, um, interesting night. So, <laughs> anyways, um, but those of you guys that were on last week Friday, the night before hockey players cast. Um, I don't even know because it got blurry at the end. But anyways, it was a good chat, good time. Um, <clears throat> Brewtubers Vegas convention. I know we talked about that. We should definitely put that together. All right, so that's all I got. I'm out of here. Happy homebrew Wednesday and drink some damn homebrew. <laughs>